Executive Director for Inner Big Works. We um, are a membership-based organization with about 30 or so diverse faith and spiritual communities that collaborate for a variety of efforts to show up for social justice issues in ways that are not theoretical, in ways that are very hands-on, very solving problems. Um, one of the iterations that we have is the shelter here across the street. We have been providing shelter continuously since 2014 through our sheltering program, our emergency sheltering program. Uh, we also have up the road, we have a service center too. Uh, that's a daytime service connection center. It's called Sergio's for people to come in, get showers, do their laundry, access a clothing closet, get connected to services, get their IDs replaced, get medical. Um, and that's a wonderful partnership. We're really proud of that. It's a, a great thing and it really takes a lot of people being involved. You know, we don't provide all of the services that are there located. We bring in other organizations so that everybody can play to their strengths. Um, I'm really pleased to be sitting at the table with all these wonderful people. We communicate a lot, we collaborate a lot, and I think that that's something that really sets our community apart is that we collaborate so much it would be really easy to take any one of these issues and say, this isn't my problem, this is somebody else's problem. And that's just never what the people up here and a lot of you guys out there do, you know? We find ways that we can all bring our skills and our efforts and our special areas of expertise and come together to solve the problem from each of our different lenses, from each of our different um, perspectives. And so start from the outside in, really on it, and get toward, get toward stuff that's best for everybody involved. Um, so the shelter across the street is a 58-bed shelter. The average age of the person who served is 49, which is um, pretty significant since the average life expectancy for somebody experiencing chronic homelessness is 47. So it's a 24-7 shelter, it is staffed 24-7. There's never fewer than four staff on site, um, and oftentimes many more. Sometimes it seems like too many people bustling around doing stuff, helping people out with things. There are laundry facilities on site, there's a community kitchen on site. There are no um, outreach services provided from the shelter, and everybody that is placed there has a bed for as long as they want. We also, out of the shelter, we have our medical respite program, so that's beds for people that are being discharged from the hospital, who have had a surgery or an illness of some kind, who otherwise would be discharged to the streets to recover, which is no real recovery at all. Um, so we have six beds that we set aside for that. We allow pets, we allow couples to stay together, um, which is kind of unique in the sheltering world. And yeah, I think that's probably the end of my spiel about what we do. Who do I pass this back to?